That's chipmunks, right? Or squirrels. They're fighting about something. Hey, good morning. Hello. Um, I got new bras in the mail. Oh, hello. Good morning. Today is Monday. There have been squirrels and birds um, arguing outside the window for a little while. They're not anymore. Not really sure what's going on with the nature world today. But, you know, it's not for me to understand because I am not in the nature, I guess. You know. Um, yes, yeah, so the weekend was fantastic. Russ and I had a great time on Saturday. I mean, if you watched our video, my video, our video, I guess, you're both in it. His birthday weekend, Legends in La Crosse is a very fun place to go. And we played it smart, which made me feel a little bit more at ease. So I think we should do that more often. Not really sure. I think because I worry a lot about drunk driving. Not drunk being those people who drunk drive, you know. Uh, because it's dangerous, first of all. I don't want to cause anyone harm. And I don't want pe I don't want to cause us harm. And I don't want to go to jail. I don't want to go to jail. So, you know. Let me go to the bathroom. So anyway, like I was saying, Russ's weekend was great. It was, uh, you know, he had his fishing tournament. Fishing is, his tournaments are what he lives for. You know, I'm supportive in that because he's supportive in the art that I do. You know, if I, I haven't, I don't advertise my art like very well at all. Which is probably why I don't really sell any pieces. I have sold a few, like a handful, but not really, not that many. Anyway, um, he's supportive. That's what I'm getting at. He supports me and mine. I support him and his. That's how a relationship should work. You should support each other. Even if you think his little, his thing is silly. I don't think his fishing thing is silly because I've seen progress and I've seen him grow and I've seen him learn and succeed in things. So his, um, not hobby. What's the word I'm looking for? His goal I'm not sure what the word is, but it, where he wants to go, I can see it happening. And a lot of people are like, he's too old. And by a lot, I mean my brother. My brother says he's too old to do this stuff. I'm like, well, I don't think so. Oprah didn't get her stuff till she was in her 40s, so shut up. You know, there's a lot of people who didn't start their careers till later. So if you think 40 is too old, sorry, not correct. Um, anyways, um, yeah, so hi, good morning, and, uh, happy Monday. I'm gonna start work here in a minute, so I'll see you later. Later. I am in the dark all day today because of the storming outside. Ooh, the dark. Until I get into the kitchen, then I can turn on the light. Oh, light bulb. Because I don't have a light bulb. Look at a package that showed up from uh, the weekend. Ooh, gloomy. Um, was still there. It showed up on Friday after we left. It's still there when we got back on Sunday, so that's nice. 
I started doing the dishes. Why is this out? This is dirty. Ew. That needs to be washed. Look, dishes. Dishes are required to be done. I've just got to put the rest of the top shelf away. And then I can put the other stuff. Oh, what is this? Fishing mats. You know, let's look at that stuff. When he prepares for his tournaments. Light off. Light off. Now we are in the darkness. The darkness of my soul. Actually, not. I have a very light soul. If someone were to see my aura or my soul, it would be bright because I am a positive person. And that makes other people think I'm not so. Probably, yeah. I don't know. Some people are positive. I don't like to live in the negative stuff. It's just very sad and depressing. It's not how I want to do it. So, you know, I don't want to do that. Um, I got like five minutes, so I will... Um, talk to you later actually because I just will oh hello good afternoon let's take care of this frizz okay hello just had to get my hair wet it's very wet right now <coughs> hello Good evening, good evening, good afternoon. I feel like it's evening because it's been dark all day. I ain't got no light in my room. Ouch. A lot of light bulbs. There is a uh, light bulb, a Wi Fi light bulb. Um, I could put it in my office, but I don't know how to set it up. I tell Russ, I say, Russ, can you put the Wi-Fi light bulb in my office? I want to do Harry Potter with my light bulb. What does that mean? That means that I can go Alexa Lumos and she'll turn on the light bulb. Or go Alexa Nox and she'll turn off the light bulb. Which I've showed that before and Russ set that up on his office thing which is not fair okay why is this the shower thing is off there we go put that back anyway um it's gonna be a hot summer i can already tell and i'm here for it Give me that hot heat. The hot heat. Yes. Give me the hot heat. Ow! I have a big knot right here. You see it? Yes. It's gross. I'm going to try to get these knots on my hair. I'll be right back with you. So, the, br the unbrush that I got from a TikTok shop... Works great for quick detangles, but a deep detangle, tangle teaser, and to get curl definition, tingle teaser, that's what I use. We can use other brushes for curl definition, but this is the one I have. There's another brush out there <coughs> on the TikTok shop that I've been seeing around that may want to look into. I don't know. I don't really know. Need to have a whole lot of brushes. Because I'm fine with this. So maybe I don't need to buy a new brush. Do I need to buy a new brush? No, I don't. I don't need to buy a new brush. Alright. There we go. We are fully brushed out. Alright. Drying my hair a little bit more. Oh. Okay.
Okay, there we go. So let's go have some lunch. He's a kitty. Oh, I scared the kitty. Hello, Miss Purdy. She was looking for me earlier. Oh, is your tongue out? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, don't worry. I scared you. You're okay. I scared you. Your eye is so fucked up. You're dirty. Your face is always so dirty. Oh, oh. Bless you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Yeah, you're okay. You purring. Yeah, you're okay. Oh my goodness. You're a good kitty. All right, Miss Purdy. Look at that. There's a sticker finger right here. <laughs> oh, I know it. I know it. All right, then. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Okay, so I had this call from the lady who was telling me she was told an X amount of dollars that she would get refunded if she canceled her policy. Um, she was not. I had the supervisor listen to two phone calls, the one that day that she called and the one where she requested to cancel, then the call um, after that as well. They both, they listened to those, neither of them canceled or canceled. Neither of them quoted what she thinks she was quoted. And we sent her a letter that had the approximate amount in it that she was going to be refunded. She was told three times, two verbals. The first time she called, we just said, okay, well, a form will be sent and fill it out and send it back. She said, okay. Second time she called, she was given an approximate amount or what the current value was at that time. And then the letter was sent out, which also gave her an approximate amount. So this... She's thinking that if she cancels a policy, take a policy out with us, you cancel it, that you're going to get a 100% refund. That's not how that works. As a business, an insurance business, you do not get a 100% refund. If you cancel your policy with State Farm or Home or, or your health insurance, do you get a refund on that, on the premiums you pay in? No. No, you don't. Because it's not a product that you're ordering. It's not a product you order. It's an insurance. So you don't get a refund. If you cancel your insurance, you don't get a refund on the pot, on the premiums you get paid. You cancel your health insurance, car insurance, any insurance. You don't get a hundred, you don't get a refund period from them. You at least get a refund on the cost of insurance that, that you have to pay in. So I'm not sure why she thought she was told she'd get a thousand dollars, some odd dollars back. She was not told that, but I get to call her back after my break here. Um, yeah, so that's gonna be fun times uh, for me. Mm. Okay, yes, there's light in the room because I stole a light from the bathroom. I got my packages in the mail. So there's been this TikTok dress on TikTok, hyped up. We're going to try it out. And I got those Joliet bralettes to dry out, bralette to try out too. So let me get my package that just came and I'm going to get this other package and be right with you. I'm heading upstairs. I told myself I wasn't going to buy any more dresses till I tried on the rest. Because I already have 10 of them that fit. Do I need that many dresses? No. Do I want that many dresses? Yes, apparently so. Because I'm like, I just need to wear the dress. Okay. Just give me a minute. A few moments later. All right, so here is the bra. This is the Juliet Bralette by Callie Rose. 
it has the helping hands cups things I'm doing this because I'm trying to see like how thick is it it's pretty thick it's like like this thick I'm assuming you don't really have to have them but it's I guess it helps I could have sized down yeah because um the boobs are big I have big boobs but I could have sized down and they could have uh, been probably more ooh, ooh, you know secure or whatever but they are pretty secure this bra is it's a good bra definitely recommend look at that look at that I don't need a bra it will I haven't adjusted the straps yet but if I just adjust the straps just a little bit to give it a little bit more lift I don't need to have a bra on this is really comfortable Ooh, and it's cute it's just it's above my knee like right there which I really like I like this I like this quite a lot yes thank you thank you very much I like this now okay one complaint just one complaint this the way this is sewn makes it look like a, you can see my nipples this is not nipples you can see the seam goes up into a cone that's the one complaint but other than that I picked a good color and a good length and it's so it's so soft. I love it. Russ made supper. Angel hair pasta with the sauce and some garlic bread. Yum yum. It looks so good. We got a sauce on my bread. Yum yum. It's 8.30. I've, I'm all caught up on Bridgerton. So, um, they only had th th three episodes, four episodes, something. So, I guess, I, so I gotta wait till the next section comes in. So I'm watching Evil. Evil is what I'm watching on Netflix. I don't know what else to do tonight. Just nothing probably. I have crumbs. There are crumbs in my boobies. <gasps> I'm very pleased with the purchases I have made. Um, I have narrowed down. I've gone through all of my clothing in the I think all of my clothing. <laughs> I'm going to have to look again because I think there's maybe a little section that I haven't gone through. But I've gone through a lot like 90% so there might be 10% that I haven't gone through yet on the closet and then and then I gotta tackle my drawer my other closet my walk-in closet and then I'll tackle my drawers but all that requires a lot of trying on and all that stuff so we shall see all right darkness Gonna be ready. Gonna be ready time. Gonna be ready time. Ready time. Me. Miss Purdy is waiting on me to go upstairs. But first, I must urinate. Must urinate, and then I will go upstairs. Look at the cat. How pathetic she looks. Look, you look very sad, kitty. Very. Like I need to shave the cat. But not right now. All right, we're going upstairs. All right. Oh. It's bedtime now. Okay. Yes. So, uh, Russ got fish blood on his shirt, his new jersey. So we went. We tried the um, peroxide, and he let it sit for a little while, but not. I don't think long enough. What is this? Some kind of fuzz. Um, and then 
He well, then he did laundry. So hopefully, the out of his New Jersey, the fish blood came out of his New Jersey. Hopefully, um, otherwise he's gonna have to take it in somewhere and get it dry cleaned, have him spot treat it, or something. I don't know. But he's washing his jersey, his New Jersey. Will hopefully be all nice and clean for him. I'm surprised this fits. It's an extra large. Probably because of the materials made out of. Alright, well anyways, uh, hello. Good evening. Welcome to my closet where I end the... I just end the day in my closet. That's how I do it. Okay, well, I don't have anything to say. So, I'm just going to say good night. I hope you had a beautiful day. Have a beautiful evening. You get the rest you need. And tomorrow's a new day. So I'll see you tomorrow. Toodles.